for the most part a lot of you watched the match between nigeria and ghana yesterday it's barely 24 hours since ghana smash or ghana um whoop the <laughs> It is barely 24 hours since Ghana defeated Nigeria and oh God, I'm making this video because I'm a Nigerian and I'm not happy for the most part a lot of you have seen what is happening or what happened yesterday and it doesn't even speak well of my country and I'm very very sad of that guys on today's video um sorry if I'm not introducing myself for those of you that are just joining for the first time my name is Beatrice Achibong but over here I'm known as Blue Beatrice Achibong so in today's video before I go straight into the video uh some Nigerians will be sharing their opinion on what happened. For those of you that do not know what happened, <laughs> then I'm not sure you are from this planet because I mean the two Jollof countries were having a thing yesterday. The like, whole world was just on top of the matter like and I think it's a thing because sometimes I do tell people that the only country or the major country in Africa is Nigeria and Ghana because they're the most talked about country. Please don't come for me. This is reality. This is the truth Please don't come for me for that one. Let us go strip the matter. Yes, so something happened Yesterday yesterday was to decide which of the country is going to make it to the World Cup in Qatar and fortunately Ghana made it Ghana would Nigeria with the goal and They made it there so that was not only that before then congratulations to motherland ghana for those of you that do not already know i schooled in ghana and on this channel i share some of my experience in ghana living in ghana and all of those things and that is why i felt concerned to make this video because i have lived in ghana i've lived also in nigeria like nigeria is my home yes so if something is wrong i need to see something is wrong because i think i kind of have the voice to talk because I don't have a lot of audience, but then I feel with the little I have, I can speak. You understand? Yeah, they say everyone's entitled to their... Um, everyone have a freedom of speech and all of that. Yes, I got to interact with some people and some are YouTubers and stuff like that. And Nigerian YouTubers and Nigerians, basically Nigerian, because I want to know what they think about what happened. If it's something um, that is good or it's something that... I just want to know their opinion so let us watch what they have to say with regards to what happened after the match okay talking about the match um, held yesterday um, the World Cup qualifier second leg game between Nigeria and Ghana held in Moshud Abiola National Stadium um, the match ended 1-1 in favor of Ghana and um, losing that match threw Nigerians into depression um, the Nigerian spectators were so sad they couldn't imagine um, the World Cup without them in the game. They couldn't imagine World Cup in Qatar without Nigeria. So it threw them into depression and they got into the pitch and um, it became a chaos. They began to damage government properties and um, so many things went wrong there. I saw videos, people were running for their lives. Um, it, 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 it appears that it appears that Nigeria, Nigeria is a country of um, so much insecurity. Yeah. And uh, the sad part is that it led to the death of a Zambian doctor <clears throat> working for FIFA. Uh, I can imagine what his family will be going through right now. But that's to tell you how depressed and how sad Nigeria was. That's to tell you that the match against Ghana meant a lot, meant a lot to us. But then it wasn't a favor. Guys, my name is Beatrice Njama and I've been asked to share my view on what I thought about the Nigeria-Ghana match yesterday. Okay. I didn't watch the match but I actually watched the very crazy video where um, a couple of Nigerians ran into the stadium like the field and were attacking people that was very unnecessary that was like the most embarrassing thing I have ever seen I am a Nigerian I am very proud of my country but when I see things like this it really breaks my heart it was unnecessary it was not like I don't know what warranted that attitude but it's a game someone must win I really, really feel embarrassed and I think we can do okay, better. My name is Prince Precious Uzoma and I'm Nigerian by the way. Um, so yesterday, you know, the Ghana-Nigerian match, Nigerians were not totally satisfied with the result of the match. And I mean, no one likes to lose hands, you don't understand the unhappy reactions people tend to give out. 
yes, in all the reactions, one thing that I never expected was actually how Nigerians took it. It was characterized with a lot of violence, turning things over, snatching cars. As a Nigerian, I must really say it was utterly disappointing. I was, I was really disappointed. It was very disgraceful, and for two major reasons. Firstly, we are Africans, and we sh and we're supposed to be the brothers to our African neighbors, sort of. You know, and we call Ghanaians our brothers. Yet, why do we act in such weird way toward them? Secondly, uh, how how do we portray ourselves to people outside? They sort of have this weird notion about Africans reacting to everything with violence. Why can't we change the narrative? I, I, I really think we should look forward to being better because we're all brothers. Hey guys, I'm Pepiana, a Nigerian YouTuber, and this is my honest opinion on the match between Ghana and Nigeria. Okay, as a Nigerian, I was not expecting the lose. Like, nobody saw it coming. We're not really expecting it. But then it happened. Ghana played the match. They deserved the win, though it was 1-1, one, one, it was draw, I don't know what this, I think it was penalty, they said, made uh, Ghana win Nigeria. Okay, so now, going to the destruction that went on after the match, I think they had every right to be furious, they had every right to be like angry, because a lot of people actually did a bet on that game and a lot of them were, they were expecting Nigeria to win, you know, Nigerians, our mouths, like, that kind of stuff and pride and all of that so we're really expecting to win the match they were meant to be angry or they had every right to be angry but they were not supposed to destroy that field like to me that was a no 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 like that was out of it and funny enough the field is our field a nigerian field like it is not even a Ghanaian field like you are destroying your own field why like <laughs> somehow we actually have a problem because we had every right to get angry we had every right to do anything at that moment because we felt so so disappointed but destroying your own property come on like no no matter how angry i get why would i destroy my property like it is for me and no one so yeah ghana you all deserve the win you know nigeria sometimes you have to take clues it happens like it happens it happens so Ghanaians, my brothers my sisters actually love you guys and um, you guys deserve the win you guys got i love you guys enjoy because i'm sure that this one would last for a very long time like Ghanaians will use it to tackle nigerians for a very long time but i am in for all of it morris kennedy a spoken word poet founder of the More Life Poetry Production Company in Port Harcourt, Nigeria, and the convener of the More Life Concert. So, uh, the match between Ghana and Nigeria in Abuja was, uh, you know, it was, it was fun. Like, we anticipated it a whole lot. And, you know, because of the friend-enemy kind of relationship between the Ghanaians and Nigerians, it was something we were looking forward to. And it was a wonderful match, but um, as the final whistle, you know, was blown, some of the Nigerian fans were just acting all crazy and violent, you know. It, it was, um, it's highly condemnable. I condemn it. FIFA should do a whole lot to make sure this kind of thing never repeats itself. There's no place for violence in football and uh, our game should be free of violence. It's, it's a shameful act, to say the least, you know, destroying facilities and all that. So, I condemn so, it. My name is Miracle. I'm a Nigerian and a gospel artist. Yes, I reside in Abuja. Although I did not go to watch the match live, but I had friends who were live there at the stadium. You know, um, I don't think the fans, uh, if I'm correct, I don't think the fans got physical with the players. Yes, especially the Ghanaian players. I don't think so. They only, uh, you know, express their rage and anger on the equipments on the field, you know, having to the loss to Ghana. Yeah, um, it was kind of a painful loss, but I think uh, we have a whole lot of things to really focus on. And World Cup would have really been a distraction, especially at this point in time when we've prayed a whole lot of, for for a revolution and a real change. You know, um, World Cup would have really been a big distraction. So this, what if this is God? You know, trying to help us uh, build the nation we've prayed for. 
yeah i i really think so let's see it in that way uh than thinking that you know it's a loss or it's really not a loss maybe it's a gain for us world cup not the finish i believe and uh uh, we'll have to go for more World Cups and we will win a World Cup one day and then congrats to Ghana and with our full chest as Nigerians will be supporting Ghana um, at the World Cups. Congratulations once again to them. God bless. Hello everyone. My name is Mba Chibike, but I'm socially known as Ogalinos. I am a Nigerian and today I just want to air my view or my opinion regarding the violent incident that came up just after the concluded Nigeria versus Ghana football match. Now, I must say that I am highly disappointed with how Nigerians reacted after the match was played. It's really, really, really a bad sight to behold. I heard um, people were throwing table water cans at the um, Ghanaian players. I also heard a medical doctor was bitter. Now, what image are you trying to portray Nigerians at? It's not always all about violence. Sometimes you have to give peace a chance. Let love lead. I must say, it was an eyesore. Everyone should please be cautious of how they react and how they take things and how they do things. Let's reason like humans. What's good? My name is Nairichi and I am a Nigerian. So Blue said I should make this video and tell me what I think, like tell her what I think about you know um about the match that happened so from a nigerian point of view in everything that literally happens i always get to support nigerians but today i'm not going to be doing that right why did i say that we all saw what happened after the match the, the the violence that happened you know the destruction of the football pitch and everything it was just so uncalled for yes it was very annoying and it was very sad that we lost to ghana but we didn't really really had to resort to that violence i mean we always nigerians always just keep putting out this negative narrative about ourselves out there i mean and it happened that day they just showed themselves you know they showed themselves they said this is nigerians this is what we do you know i'm not going to praise nigerians in this situation trust me i'm not going to do that but the fact that ghanaians left their country to our country for this match we could have just you know we could have just done better i mean there's really nothing to say i'm still very angry that we lost to ghana but the whole violet thing just took it off i mean it just showed how immature some nigerians can be and then the funny thing is that this is not every nigerian that does this right but because of the few that that you know that keeps doing this that keep putting out this narrative it's just always generalized that whenever you say you're a nigerian in another country they look at you as a terrible person or a destructive person or a violent person but it's not so the fact that few people do this doesn't mean that it's the same thing to all nigerians or the same thing to the whole country but yeah um i'm not meant to be talking a lot but this is my points in this and um yeah nigerians we should do better honestly we really should do better so that this narrative can't keep going and growing and growing thank you wow like you guys all saw there that was not me talking there you could see different people's point of view different people's opinion and all of those things like i feel very embarrassed as a nigerian making this video and talking about this like <sighs> good it's very very crazy because with this that has happened a lot of people will now see nigerian nigerians and all nigerians because when something happened to one nigerian they'll just generalize that all of us are the same and it's really bad it is really bad and whatsoever reason that made them to do that i really do not support violence you understand yes people people i know how we nigerians and ghana fight on twitter like it's not physical fights it's more like See, these two countries, they actually love themselves, if you don't know. Nigeria and Ghana, they love themselves. They just fight with mouths, not physical violence or whatsoever. They fight with mouths. Um, before I continue, I'll make you see the video, the actual video that led to all of this.
like I was saying, I was saying that Nigerian Ghana they fight on Twitter with their mouth. Maybe someone will say, Oh, your jollof is not better. This one will say my jollof is better. And just that. But this physical thing is really crazy. I heard one of the speaker or one of the Nigerians that spoke was saying that Nigerians have been through a lot and that is why they've been depressed. And that is not wrong. Honestly, living in Nigeria <sighs> requires a whole lot like <laughs> If you have a friend in Nigeria, please check on your friend in Nigeria because I keep saying this thing. If you've lived in Nigeria before, even for a week, a year, you can survive anywhere. Like Nigerians have gone through a lot, and that is not, I cannot dispute that fact. It's true. With the unstable economic situation, um, electricity, a whole bunch of things happening. And the major disgrace was another one where they got to like the light went off doing when the Ghanaians were done with results and stuff like that and I don't know if they did not know that they were still there it was really crazy because that one is more like a national disgrace because the videos were just flying everywhere like everywhere you know some people they are just looking for what for you to do wrong so that they can just speak on it and attack you you should be in your best of behavior you understand but it was just really crazy because I didn't just know like I'm not a football fan, honestly, I'm not a football fan, but when it comes to Ghana and Nigeria or when it comes to these two countries, I don't joke with it, be it local uh, matches or the World Cup or whatsoever, I just take them very seriously because I'm a Nigerian, I'm also a Ghanaian by association, so those two countries, they kind of mean a lot to me, you understand, so it was really, really crazy when I saw this happening, flying here and there, my WhatsApp was just buzzing around, people were just throwing in and the videos on their status i'm like ah jesus christ hey god they're giving ghana what to talk about to oh, god and it was really crazy and i'm just very happy that no ghanian or oh, nobody was hurt and god it was just really really crazy like nigerians we can do better honestly this one i will not side you see when you do something good i praise you but when you do something that is everybody say this is bad this is bad you understand you have a child the child is doing something bad tell the child that the person is wrong you understand you don't have to sugarcoat anything you don't have to sugarcoat anything because it was bad and because of this few group of people that did that now the whole nigerians will be tagged as bad people and it's not even nice it's not even nice actually i've been working on the documentary for the 1983 incident and all of that thing that happened but then with this one again you guys oh god i'm gonna be soon my countenance everything just so down is really so down because i don't even know like I'm, I'm lost of words like i don't even know what to use to describe this and see Ghana and Nigeria will forever be brothers and sisters. Like I said, we are secret lovers. We love ourselves, but then we keep just fighting. And any other country seeing us fighting, we think that we're actually fighting, fighting, not knowing that we love ourselves. Some people even go as far as getting married to Ghanaians and Nigeria, and people are, you understand. But on the internet, they are fighting, but in real life, they are moving well, they are doing stuff and all of those things. So I don't know why Nigerian actually took that, most Nigerian, let me not use Nigerian, most Nigerian actually took that very far by um, causing physical violence and I don't know if I'm missing any point from this. Guys, do let me know what you think about this because it was just a match. You understand? At the end of the day, we are humans. You understand? We are flesh and blood. We are human beings. We are not stick. Why are you doing this to us? Like, why are you doing that? Imagine that was your brother or that was your sister. You don't do that. Well, I don't want to prolong this video. If you made it to this part of the video, hmm, you forever remember my VVIC. If you made it to this part of the video, thank you for watching. Do stay safe. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so whenever I upload a video like this, you'll be the first to get notified. Guys, until next time, please stay safe. Please stay safe. And remember, Jesus loves you. See you on my next video.